gaze today. Put us off the guy right now. And uh, we're gonna try and get our blue slip. Well, uh, we went to Gaira and uh, we got the blue slip. I'm excited. So as we know, in a trippy like this, storage options really make or break the setup. We have got some gear from Navigator here. We're swapping pretty much all our camping stuff from our canopy over to the Troopy. Hello everyone. So, what are we up to right now? We're packing Elsie. We are packing her up and getting her ready for not her maiden voyage, that was uh, us driving across Australia, but our maiden voyage after all the messing around we've been doing for months. So, please Elsie, please, 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 get us there. <laughs> Don't break down. Ah, it'll be right, we'll get there. We've just got to get to Tumut. And we're just packing it now and we're finding the uh, Storage in the ute, there's a lot more storage in the ute and just the way the canopy worked. Troopies, not much space in them when you're trying to sleep and live in the same area. Uh, we've got this roof rack sorted up here. It's definitely not a permanent solution. It's sitting really high. We'll either need, need to get shorter towers or, fingers crossed, we'll get a, a different roof rack system altogether, um, which I'm pretty excited about. So hopefully that comes through. Holly, how's it going? Squishy. Squishy? It's very squishy, but... We just need to, obviously at the moment, we have everything that we came here with. So we just need to regroup and kind of get rid of stuff, probably back in Tumut or wherever. But we're just taking everything with us from Armadale. So yeah, squishy for now, but hopefully... We should be able to sort out a bit. Yeah, we'll figure it out, hopefully in a bit. <laughs> so it'll be better. Well, uh, now that we're just sort of about to get going in Elsie, we've got one more thing to do. And that is our OLT sticker. You can get these on our store, 10 bucks. Uh, we sent it out to you with a little letter and uh, put it on your touring rig. So this is a bit of a momentous occasion. Beautiful. Beautiful, didn't lose a dot. Oh yeah. So if you do get one of these, um, make sure <laughs> with the original backing, you rub, rub it first with a card. So rub the backing, peel it off, put it on and then rub it on the vehicle. Special care of the dots, because they have a tendency to come off with it. All right, hopefully that's enough. And then peel off the... Beautiful. Woo! Woohoo! Haha. <laughs> OLT sticker on LC. Finally. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. <sighs> Shut up. It's all done. It's pretty overloaded. Um, definitely got too much stuff. But we'll get to Tumut, uh, my hometown, and we'll sort everything out. Hopefully, we'll get the storage up top sorted and we'll just work around it and we just want to make it pretty livable, like it just sucks if you have to pull stuff out to go to bed or get inside, so we want to make it as clean inside as possible. But until then, we'll see how we can we'll battle. <laughs> She's pretty chockers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Also, with cleaning up the Hilux the other day, look who we found. If that isn't a sign, then I don't know what is. So, yeah. We found Lenny. We found him. But, so, he was in like the cigarette pull-out drawer, and I don't remember putting him in there. Matt doesn't remember putting him in there. But, the back of his legs are broken, so we don't So, he's know. been snapped off. I don't, I, we don't know. We don't I'm know. feeling Holly did it and just forgot, because she does that a bit.
Dodge. <laughs> So we have made it to beautiful Tumut. We spent, we ended up leaving Sky and Emerson uh, two days ago, I think, and then drove down through Sydney, saw some friends there, and then came to Tumut last night. The Elsie went really well, which is good, and we have made it to Monday morning. We're gonna take everything off the roof because we have a new roof wrap coming, which is really exciting, so we won't look so hippie and hobo. And it rained last night, which is fine. But we've just decided to take everything off the roof. Um, so we're not so top heavy driving it around town. And Matt has discovered a whole heap of water that has leaked through the back of the car. So it's quite lucky that we are at Matt's parents' place so we can just empty the car, let it dry out. But gosh, we can see why these things rust now. So yeah, we're just pulling everything out. But we're gonna have to, <laughs> gonna have to fix the issue. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're just explaining how uh, not watertight these things are. Yeah. I reckon these things would have come out of the factory not watertight, eh? Like, they're just, just the design, like, water just sits in places. That roof gutter there, like, I reckon even when I run a bead of silicon, you're just going to get just tiny little bits of water that will seep through and they'll sit there and then you just start to rust. And when it starts to rust, holes get bigger and bigger. Crazy. But oh well, 40 year old car, it's a 40 series troopy. They leak. Be. What do you yeah. expect? We'll live with it. There's, there's worse things to live with this car, so we're just gonna go to the desert where it's dry and leave it there. <laughs> yeah. So it has leaked. All the roof lining up here is wet, and then our cushions are wet. The wood's all wet, so we're pulling the cushions inside to dry. The curtain's wet. Yeah. Ooh, troopy life. Take all the stuff off the roof. Ooh so we can uh, put it under the garage. <laughs> so today, we're taking the roof rack off. Um, we're gonna need to take it off anyway. Um, I don't know if we've announced on the, Not yet. On the camera. Should we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will. Really excited. We're actually gonna be working with Front Runner. We've had uh, their water tank, it's in this now, and I've had it in the ute, unreal piece of gear, but Front Runner are a South African brand and they just do camping four-wheel drive uh, accessories, roof racks, drawer systems. They do so many things like gull wing windows for 70 series and defenders and just so much like just cool stuff and it's top quality, really nice camp gear. So we're gonna be getting uh, hopefully a, fruit, a roof rack um, with heaps of accessories, put max tracks, gas bottle, pretty much just turn like the Troopy into a, a touring vehicle. like. If you've owned a Troopy or thinking about it, like you would know you need a roof rack to, to have those touring capabilities, to have that extra storage. So excited to get that on. So we're gonna take this old piece of junk off and uh, yeah, get it ready. Uh, I'm gonna be running a bead of marine sealant along the gutter. So I did put um, a sealant in between the uh, rubber seal and the roof gutters and I did put even a bit of silicon in between the roof gutter and the roof So I sort of I tried my best <laughs> Obviously, I didn't do a good enough job and some water has got in over this corner when it rains um, Typical 40 series kind of thing just not watertight So we're gonna get a really fat bead of silicon or just sealant sorry around that edge and uh, I'm just gonna go crazy with it seal it up I just don't want water getting into the car just makes problems worse and uh, not very comfortable to live in. So that's our job for today. We'll get to it. It's on. Interesting to see how much wear and tear it did on these gutters. All the weight and it's, just, it's not a good setup. Like this would eventually break. Just to get that, our gear from Armored out of here. So it had its, its purpose. So before we give Elsie a bit of a wash, we are going to go do um, the four-wheel drive track that's here in Chimic called the Trick Trail. 
village just like up the power line up the side of a mountain it's not too bad we've done it before in the hilux um so we good little test yeah just for else here we go with a mate yeah uh, and his pajero so yeah just i don't know we haven't really taken Elsie off road we've got crap tires our suspension sucks so um really? it'll be a good little test yeah <laughs> getting a bit of use out of the oricom it's awesome loving the unit so far just trying to find a channel that's bloody not taken up with chatter everywhere people love getting on the two-way and tuning hello I'm, am I the most frequent celebrity on the Avalanche Travels? You are. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So here we are at Tomb Valley Tire Service, very exciting day. As you can see, I've got the cruiser behind me. So we're getting some new rims on. We're getting uh, speedy rims, just some steelies, but they're negative 28 offset. So it's gonna be sitting a bit wider, which I'm excited about, just getting that nice wide stance. And they're black, which is uh, the color I've always been wanting. I think they look awesome on the uh, old 40s. So keen to see how it looks. We were gonna get Mickey Thompson's on, but we've since changed to Falcon. Falcon come forward. And uh, yeah, excited to get them on, give them a try, the wild peak, uh, the all terrains, and yeah, see how it goes. Keen to get it all on, but it won't be for a few weeks, we'll get the new tyres on, unfortunately. So we're putting the uh, old crappy tyres back onto these nice shiny rims, is a bit of a shame. We've also had the Oricom tyre pressure monitoring system installed uh, as well. Um, so Oricom do two different units. One in the end of the valve and one that is just a valve replacement. So you need to get those on though when the tyres are off the rim. So, but they probably give more accurate reading. So keen to see how it goes. Yeah, it might save me a lot of money in, in the long run if I saves me some shredding some tyres on the road. So we'll see how that goes. This video today is brought to you by Skillshare. It's no secret Matt and I have absolutely loved the community we have created online and the ability that we had to travel around this amazing country. But with this year being a bit of a write-off, we're looking at turning this hobby of ours into more of a career and this is where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online learning platform that offers thousands of courses. A course that I've recently really been loving is Cinematic Wedding Films. So you've guessed it right, we're looking at getting into wedding, film and photography. 
Skillshare is not only an amazing platform, but it's very easy to navigate. And with an annual membership being less than $10 per month, it is very affordable. But for the first thousand people who hit the link in our description below, you will receive a free trial of premium membership. So if like us, you wanna turn something from a hobby into more of a career, why not give it a go? You've got nothing to lose. So today we're just gonna go for a quick drive around or towards Wee Jasper, which is... So just in between Tumut and Canberra, yep. so in the Brindabellas. And yeah, apparently it's a nice drive, so we're just gonna go for a little, a little cruise and a see little... what we can do. <laughs> today, we're installing the ARB twin air compressor. 